Welcome back to another Olive video editing tutorial. In this video, we'll be learning about nesting video clips and audio clips and different tracks of our project. We'll also touch on linking. It's called grouping sometimes. We'll refresh on that as it relates to nesting. Let me just show you real quick what nesting lets us do. So I have a video clip brought in here. This is just a video clip of this time lapse of painting this building. Um, nesting wouldn't really be much of an advantage when we have a single clip like this. The option is it right clicks and you go to nest and it changes the color and now it says nested sequence one. It doesn't really help us much. I'll hit control Z to undo that because it's just a single clip. So it, it doesn't change the playback of it at all. Um, in fact, it doesn't change the playback of it anyway, but if we were to bring in this logo here and place this over top, so now we have this logo kind of playing and we'll make it last the whole length of the video clip by left clicking and dragging it to the end. And then we'll drag this logo and maybe put it here in the top left corner. So now when we play this video, it just shows that logo the whole time, like a watermark sort of. Well, now that we have some multiple clips in here, um, we could nest this. So we do the same thing. We click on this top one, then we hold down the shift key and select these bottom two as well. And they're grouped. They have a, a, an underline under them showing us they're grouped. So if we select it, they move together. And if we delete one, they delete together because they're, well, they're linked is actually what it's called, but I call it group sometimes. Although it calls that linking. Um, anyway, so we only have to click that once and then we make sure this is clicked too. We could link all of these. So now we can right click and go to link, unlink. The first thing it's gonna do is unlink those two. So we have to do it two times. Now they're all three linked. So now they all three move together. And if we apply an edit like a cut, they will all three cut together because they're linked even if they're not all selected. If we just select this top one, well, they all become selected. There's no way to, un to only select one when they're, all when they're all linked together. Control Z, Control Z. They're all they're linked now, but I'm gonna unlink just to show you that we don't have to have them linked in order to nest them. Nesting, we just hold down Shift, make sure they're all selected, and then right click and go to Nest. And that's gonna do something similar. They're kind of all gonna behave the same now, when we move them, they all move together, and now it's called nested sequence one. And when we play, we see it's still playing the same. It's playing the watermarked video and everything exactly how I had it. Um, but what this lets us do is now we can apply additional effects and changes to this. We can come in and grab our razor tool and do some cuts. We can grab out a certain part if we wanted to and just delete certain parts of this. We can lengthen either end if there's available footage on those different ends. Uh, we can come in and rename this so we can go to properties and then go over and we can instead of nested sequence one we can call it um, painting with logo so we remember oh this is that sequence that has to do with painting with logo and we'll delete this other one here this one it was called nested sequence one so now we have this new thing called you know painting with logo is what the name of this sequence is if we want to edit that sequence we can double click and now we get in and we can make changes. That's essentially unnesting when we double click because there's no way to, the, the only way to re-nest it now would be to select them and go to nest again. If you're hazy on that, on why that would be an advantage, let me show you a couple different use case scenarios. Um, one, well, this is a pretty good use case here because as we get it more complex, if I grab this video clip in right here and we want to do this video, um, let's go grab a different portion of this like right here. I'll just cut out a few seconds of this. We'll delete the last part, delete the first part, we'll do ripple delete. Uh, so now we can have this, and I guess we'll grab as much as we need. So this is now on, an, on a higher video track, so it's over top of everything. Uh, but to change it, we can just come over here to our effects and change down the scale a little bit, and we can reposition it to the bottom right. So now this will show myself talking and let's grab, make it a little more complex. We'll grab this jazz guitar and put this down as, an, as one of the audio tracks. So now we have a lot going on here. We have one, two, three uh, video tracks. And technically we have three audio tracks. Although this one here isn't doing anything, we can just delete it because it's just no audio. It's a straight line. That tells us there's no audio activity happening with that video clip. So we have two audio tracks. One is music, one is voice, and the other Everything else is just video tracks and it looks like this. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the Olive video. So we have our, we have this happening up here. We have the video happening in the bottom right hand corner and then the time lapse of just the office being painted. 
or the shed building. Uh, Okay, so, th so this is a time when we wa might wanna nest all of this because it's a lot happening here. And if we were to make some sort of a change, for example, we want let's say we want to apply an effect to all of these clips together. We want to apply like a uh, dis distorting like this um, swirl. Well, if we, up if we select all of them individually, just the ones that we can, the video clips, and we go to uh, video effects and we go to, where, where was that? The, distort swirl it does a swirl to each one of them you see what that did it swirled the logo it swirled the center of the video and it swirled my nose so now everything's kind of swirled there but what we wanted was a swirl on the whole thing so to do that we need to nest it first so I'm going to undo this effect we'll come over to the swirl we'll right click and go to delete so the swirl is not happening now because you see what it did it applied a swirl to each video track. Well, if we nest it first, so left click, hold down the shift key, left click and make sure everything's selected. Then we nest, so right click and go to nest. Now we have this nested sequence two, and it's a good idea to rename these because it helps you know what's going on. So we rename it right here and we'll call this um, painting with logo and um, what is this? Me in corner, I guess we'll call it. Just so I know what that is. But now we can apply the swirl. So we select this sequence. We go up to effects and we apply a video effect. We go to distort and we go to swirl. And now the swirl is just applied to the whole composition. We can see that if we increase the radius, uh, we can get it large enough probably to start affecting some of the other video. So yeah, so now it's affecting the logo up here, it's affecting the video in the corner, hey guys, and this effect is applied to everything in the sequence. So there there was a, a comment or a, a question, someone was wondering, let's undo this, let's select it, let's go to the effect, right click on swirl, go to delete, but we'll keep everything else here, and to, to unnest, if you notice, it, it's not like link and unlink, we right click and there's no unnest, um, we just go to double click, and that unnests it or it expands everything that was in there. Sometimes you'll have a video clip and you'll actually uh, use the razor tool and you'll have it cut up into different things and this audio might be cut so everything has these different cuts in it. Um, and then what you want to do, maybe you don't want to nest everything but maybe you want to adjust the audio, the, the audio volume of all of these four different parts of this jazz guitar. You want to increase it because it's kind of soft, you can't hear it very well. So this one is selected, so we would just come up here to effects and increase the volume. And then we select the next one, and now it's down to zero. We gotta increase the volume on that one. And we, preferably we increase it the same amount as the last one, so it's consistent. But we have to do it every time. Another thing we could do, if I control Z three times, and put those back to where they were. Uh, an, another thing we could do is select all, th all of them at once and increase the volume that way. Or just like if I do these last two, then we cha make changes, set it to like 63, which is very loud. Now this one is 63, and this one is also 63. But a better way to do that, if you want to make changes to every to all the audio and don't have to, don't want to jump through it and do it like that, you can just hold down the Shift key, select all of them. I should have put them back to default first, but just for to illustrate this, we'll right click and go to Nest, and now just that audio sequence is nested, along with everything else it was linked to, which happened to be. Uh, what was up there? I forget what was there. But anyway, now we can go up and we can change that audio sequence right here. Um, we can change the volume of it and it'll change the volume of this whole audio sequence. And then we can also, like we talked about, if, if everything is nested, and you can do nesting within nesting. So now that this is selected, we can select everything we want in here. And then we can even nest all of this stuff again. So now it's sort of like a, what's that? Inception, dream within a dream, right? We come over to effects, we select this, and we can apply effects to this whole thing, whatever we wanna do, apply some sort of a crazy effect, is this happening? And it applies it to the whole, everything happening in there. And then to see what's going on in there, we can double click, even with this effect applied, and we can get in and move pieces around here. Oh, just kidding, when we, when we, when we go into it, um, it's not, uh, that does take off the effects. I thought maybe we could edit it in, but when we unnest something, it takes off 
any effects applied to the nesting. So be aware of that. That's actually, I'll bet they'll remedy that. There should be a way to, that you can get in and edit something while it's nested without having to affect the, or change the effects applied. Anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about, nesting and then linking or grouping. And so play with those and it'll be able to help you. And then notice too, oh, I should have brought to your attention, over here, when we create those sequences, they appear here as a nested sequence too. And so they have their own different settings. We can double click on them and we can see what's happening with just those. And um, so we can get them back by getting into them this way as well. Well, hopefully you found that video informative. Um, this is, I think, the last official video I'm gonna do in this tutorial series. And then as new features come out uh, for Olive, I'm going to uh, make videos on those, so one-off videos. Or if you have any um, questions about how to do something specific that I haven't yet covered, feel free to leave that down in the comments section below, and I'll see if I can make a video on that. Um, check out some of my other videos. I do videos on using other uh, video editors, uh, graphic design software. I'm looking to do a Blender tutorial quite soon, and maybe also teaching how to use GIMP. So thanks for sticking with me on this tutorial series, and look forward to catching you in a future tutorial.